So we are going to look at the quadrilaterals family tree. So we're going to be classifying quadrilaterals and giving them names. And the easiest way to do it is to look at the quadrilaterals family tree. So here on this page, I am going to draw the quadrilaterals family tree. Now bear with me, I have to draw it freehand, so hopefully it'll come out good. So up at the top here, I drew a quadrilateral. So a quadrilateral is a polygon that has four sides. So up at the top is quadrilateral. Now I am going to put two branches of the family tree underneath it. Now the right branch is going to be for trapezoids. So over here we have trapezoids. And then on this side, I have the parallelograms. I drew it the best I could. A parallelogram is also a quadrilateral because it falls underneath it on the family tree. And a trapezoid is also a quadrilateral because it falls underneath it on the family tree. If you notice, this left side branch here is for quadrilaterals that have two sets of parallel sides. And then this right branch here is for quadrilaterals that have one set of parallel sides. And now underneath the parallelograms, I am going to put two more branches. And on the left side, I am going to have that be the rectangles. And then on the right side, rhombuses. I don't think I drew that that beautifully, but. And then the rectangles over here are for the shapes with right angles. And the rhombuses over here are for shapes that have four equal sides. Now a rectangle is also a parallelogram because it falls underneath it on the family tree and it's also a quadrilateral. And then a rhombus over here is also a parallelogram and also a quadrilateral. And then finally I'm going to add one more piece to our family tree and that is going to be the square. So all my sides are equal and there's four right angles. So we've got the square and so a square is also a rectangle and also a rhombus because it falls underneath it on the family tree and it's also a parallelogram and it's also a quadrilateral. But it's not a trapezoid because it doesn't fall underneath it on the family tree. So now we have a better drawing of the family tree. And so what I want to do is take a look at the rectangle. So here's the rectangle. And we're going to see if we can name all of the other names for a rectangle. A rectangle is also a parallelogram because it falls underneath it on the family tree. And not to mention, parallelograms have two sets of parallel sides and so does a rectangle. So this side's parallel to this side and this side's parallel to this side. So it's a parallelogram because it has two sets of parallel sides and it falls underneath it on the family tree. And a rectangle is also a quadrilateral. So this shape right here can be called a rectangle, a parallelogram, and a quadrilateral. The best name is rectangle, but it can also be classified as a parallelogram and a quadrilateral. Now here, let's look at the square. So here's the square, and a square can also be classified as a rectangle, and a rhombus, and a parallelogram, and a quadrilateral, because it falls underneath it on the family tree. And so, this is a square, but also a rectangle, 
because it has two sets of parallel sides and four right angles, so a square has that. It's a rhombus because it has two sets of parallel sides plus four equal sides. And it's a parallelogram because it has two sets of parallel sides. And it's a quadrilateral because it's a polygon with four sides. A square is not a trapezoid. Trapezoids just have one set of parallel sides. And a square doesn't fall underneath the trapezoid on the family tree. Now we're going to take a look at the trapezoid. Let's see if we can name all of the names for a trapezoid. So this is a trapezoid and it's also a quadrilateral because a trapezoid falls underneath the quadrilateral on the family tree. The best name is trapezoid, but it can also be classified as a quadrilateral. Now um, I have a shape here and we are gonna give all of the names for this shape. So this is definitely a rhombus. Hopefully you remember that from last week. So it is a rhombus. So now let's name all the other names. It is also a parallelogram. I'm gonna abbreviate so this doesn't take forever for me to write. But it is a parallelogram and it's also a quadrilateral. So this shape right here is a rhombus, but it's also a parallelogram, and it's also a quadrilateral. If you look at the family tree, this rhombus falls underneath the parallelogram and underneath the quadrilateral. The best name for the shape is rhombus, but it is also a parallelogram and also a quadrilateral. Now let's look at this shape. So this is a parallelogram and it is also a quadrilateral. So it's a parallelogram, but it falls underneath the quadrilateral on the family tree. The best name is a parallelogram, but it's also a quadrilateral. Now we've got this shape here. Hopefully you remember from last week, this is a square. So it's a square, and a square is also a rectangle also a rhombus, also a parallelogram, also a quadrilateral, because the square falls underneath those shapes on the family tree, and it also fits their definition. So a square is a rectangle, it's a rhombus, it's a parallelogram, and it is a quadrilateral. And the best name is a square, but it can be classified as all of those other shapes. Now we've got some generalizations and we're gonna to try to see if we can find if they are true or false. So first we have, is a rectangle also a parallelogram? So this rectangle right here, is it a parallelogram? And yes, it is because it falls underneath the parallelogram on the family tree. So is a rectangle also a parallelogram? Yes, a rectangle is a parallelogram and a quadrilateral. Next, is a parallelogram also a rectangle? So does parallelogram fall underneath the rectangle on the family tree? No. So a parallelogram is not a rectangle. Next, is a rhombus a trapezoid? So we look here, does the rhombus fall underneath the trapezoid on the family tree? No. It does not. Not to mention trapezoids have one set of parallel sides and all the shapes on this other side have two sets of parallel sides and a rhombus has two sets. That's parallel to this and that's parallel to this. So no, a rhombus is not a trapezoid. Next, is a trapezoid also a rhombus? So does a trapezoid fall underneath the rhombus on the family tree? Nope. A trapezoid is not a rhombus. Now we've got a few more. Is a rectangle a square? So does the rectangle fall underneath the square on the family tree? No. Next, is a square a rectangle? So does this square come underneath the rectangle in the family tree? Yes, it does. 
So yes, a square is a rectangle. And the next one, is a quadrilateral a square? So does the quadrilateral fall underneath the square in the family tree? No, a quadrilateral is not a square. If I asked you to draw a quadrilateral, you might draw a square, but you might draw something else. You might draw that, and that's a quadrilateral, but it's not a square. So a quadrilateral is not always a square. So a quadrilateral is not a square.